guys, Richie Bob here, finally with an iOS 13 video. So in this video I'm going to show you how to get iOS 13 on your iPhone and this is for people who have a developer account but also have a Windows PC. Because Apple haven't actually put the file on that you can access via your mobile phone yet for iOS 13 beta and they've made the iOS beta, the IPSW file, they've made it so that you have to have Xcode um, and all these things that you know basically only run it on a Mac but there and I've resisted and resisted doing the millions of things that people are doing out there and the scams that people are trying to get people to do to get all sorts of things on the computer um, I've resisted and resisted done a lot of research finally gave in today and tried one and it was successful and it's really easy as long as you stay calm read it properly I'll put a link in the description to the blog that I used but I'll go through it in this video and just give you so give you my experience of how it went and try and include some screenshots and things to help you along your way because not all of us know what we're doing so the first thing you need to do is to install iTunes now it needs to be the version of iTunes that comes from Apple's website not from the store if you go down on the launch tab and you type in iTunes it will try and get you to download it from the store and it will even try and do it on the website make sure you get the version from Apple's website not the Microsoft store then step two you're going to need to download and extract a file I'm going to put a link to the file in the description of the video it's the Libby Mobile 2019 file you basically need to click the button download the zip and then just extract it and place that in your C drive then go get the IPSW file from Apple from your dev account and place that file into the Libby Mobile 2019 folder on the C drive where you just put that so you're gonna put that that IPSW file into the Libby Mobile 2019 master folder that you just put on the C drive you do need to rename it to iOS 13 the next step is to load your command prompt load it as an administrator so you need to type in command prompt into your start menu right click it and then run as administrator then if you put this Libby Mobile file in on your C drive just copy and paste the text I've put in the description is cd space c colon backslash Libby Mobile 2019 hyphen master backslash again that's down in the description and also on the blog post under step 4 so you paste that into the command prompt press enter at this point you want to connect your iPhone to your PC using a lightning cable make sure it's unlocked and just open and also before you start all of this back up your iPhone oh and also actually another disclaimer like this person has said in their blog post I am not responsible if things do go wrong this is completely on you and this is where the good stuff starts so this is the point that you need to decide if you want to go forward or not in the command prompt type the following it's and I just copied and pasted it so once again I'm going to put this down in the description it is the part that says iDeviceRestore.exe space hyphen d space ios 13 dot ipsw so much easier to just copy and paste that so that is down there in the description as well and also on the blog post under step 6 now the command prompt will show a lot of code it's gonna like it's literally a lot of code it goes through so much and this is it putting your iPhone into recovery mode and upgrading you to iOS 13 so keep it connected don't touch anything just let it run now the next step on this blog says if you get any IBC errors yes I got the IBC error so basically it got to the it got to the end and the last bit of the code said IBEC that means you've had an IBEC error 
So if this happens to you, the first thing you need to do is make sure that you had the version of iTunes from the Apple website, not the Microsoft Store. I knew that I had that. So the next option was to go to Device Manager. So I opened my Device Manager and then Universal Serial Bus Devices. I found Apple Recovery, which is the iBoot one, and then uninstall the device, making sure to tick the uninstall driver software box. Then unplug the iPhone and reconnect it before trying that command again. That's the iDevice Restore command. So once I did all that, I then ran that command again, press enter and it ran a ton of code. And then by the end of that, after probably about half an hour, so at the end of all the code, it will then say done. Um, you also get a bar, like your, at this point, your phone is showing an Apple logo on a black screen with a bar going across it. So the bar is gonna be full and it'll say done. Then your phone's gonna boot up. It will take longer than usual. You may be prompted with swipe up for recovery. This is what I, I got. So it was a white screen this time with the black logo. It says swipe up for recovery at the bottom. So this is an attempt for your phone to recover for your iOS 13 installation. When I did this, it again came up with the loading bar, which went round a couple of times, and then when it finally got to almost full, it completely stalled. It stopped, it was like that for about half, another half an hour, and I was at the point where I thought, oh, I don't think this is working, I couldn't turn the phone off, uh, it just wouldn't work. So in the end, I decided that it would be very, very, very brave, probably very stupid, but, and just start the whole process again. So I started at the iDevice restore command prompt part again. So if this happens to you and it's taken a really, really long time talking over a half an hour of stoppage time in one place after that white screen, or you're in a loop, just put the iDevice restore.exe text that is down in the description pop it in again press enter it's going to run the whole thing again and when you get to the end when it says done this is what happened for me anyway this time when it rebooted the phone instead of saying swipe up for recovery it said swipe up to update then when i swiped up it then took me into the phone and now here we are i have ios 13 on my phone and it's beautiful and I can't wait to show you guys more of this but what I will say is when you first launch iOS 13 absolutely nothing looks different it's it doesn't immediately go into dark mode what you need to do is you go into settings then display and brightness and then just tap dark mode and that to me is iOS 13. So I hope I've explained that well. I think between me having my errors and explaining how I got around them and the initial blog post, I think you guys have got this. And I don't see a reason why anybody should have to miss out if you're on a Windows machine and you wanna try iOS 13, then I definitely recommend this method. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with this and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.